People across the country are marking the bloody civilian protests against South Korea's then authoritarian government. Our Choi Won Jung spoke to an American who witnessed the horrors that occurred in the southwestern city four decades ago. The sounds of shooting and helicopters and protester chanting take Martha Huntley back to May 18th. In 1980, Martha and her family came to South Korea 55 years ago. On May 18th, she was heading home to Gwangju from a family visit in Daejeon. It was a normal day for her until she got in taxi to go the last few miles to her house. We were going on roads I'd never seen before, and we said, "Well, um, why are you going this way? Uh, do you, do you know where Yangnam Dong is?" And he said, oh, yes, he said, but soldiers. And I said, soldiers? As the crackdown intensified, Martha began to see thousands of people injured or killed by the soldiers being delivered to Gwangju Christian Hospital. Um, the soldiers, even then, in downtown Gwangju, were attacking people. And a number of our friends, because we had so many student friends, were injured very much during that period. And they pulled him off the bus and kicked him, kicked him in the stomach, kicked him in the back, kicked him in the head, and he lost an eye. As Gwangju came under attack, Martha felt united with the people. Because we'd been there 15 years, and all of our work was for and with the people of Gwangju. They had shown us nothing but kindness and grace and acceptance, and we honestly believed that if they were all going to die, we should die with them. Martha was frustrated by the government's censorship in the press of what was actually happening. So she and her husband decided to let the world know the truth by the taking pictures of innocent civilians. Martha returned to Gwangju in 2018 to commemorate the anniversary of the May 18th pro-democracy movement. And to come into the memorial park, and I almost went to my knees. I almost dropped to my knees. It was so overwhelming. In the meantime, the May 18th Democratization Movement Truth Commission started an investigation this year to find out who was responsible. The commission said the goal is to seek truth and reconciliation, not punishment. But the painful memories of the May 18th pro-democracy movement still live on for many people. Chae Won-jong, Arirang News.